15 things you didn't know about Karl Lagerfeld. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Welcome back, Aluxers, to yet another video insight into the world of the rich, famous, and fabulous. And it doesn't get much more luxurious than high fashion and the genius mind behind some of the top fashion houses in the world. From his humble beginning in 1930s Germany to wearing the crown of fashion design, Karl Lagerfeld has truly left his mark on the world of high-class luxury. After a move to Paris at the age of 14, Karl Lagerfeld began carving his way through the Parisian fashion scene, working at such fashion houses as Balmain and Chloé. He now holds the position of creative director for Chanel and has done since 1983. Not only does he control the famous French fashion house, but he's also the creative director for Italian brand Fendi, a position he's held since 1965. And if that wasn't impressive enough, he also has his own successful eponymous line. In addition, to his flair for clothing, Carl is also a director, photographer, artist, and cat lover. As Carl has been at the helm of high fashion for nearly 50 decades, it's fair to say he's seen some trends come and go. But for Carl, elegance and style never go out of fashion, which is why he continues to inspire those all around the world. So let's delve into all things Carl as we present you 15 things you didn't know about Carl Lagerfeld. Number 1. Carl was born Karl Otto Lagerfeld on September 10, 1933 in Hamburg, Germany. Yes, that's right. While Karl's branding has become the epitome of Parisian style, the designer is in fact German. Born to Elisabeth Ballmann and businessman Otto Lagerfeld, who made his money running a company selling evaporated milk. Karl had a comfortable childhood, but of course not as glamorous or as exciting as the life he would go on to lead. As a young boy, he dreamed of leaving Germany, sketchbook in hand, to pursue a creative career. So much so, he taught himself French and English all by the age of six. That's truly impressive. You may also have noticed that the T at the end of Lagerfeld is no longer used by Karl. The Chanel designer dropped the T from his surname so it would be more commercial, especially when he launched his own brand, Karl, in 1998. The Maison Lagerfeld, which became known as Karl Lagerfeld in 2006. Number 2. Scandal alert! Karl Lagerfeld can be incredibly shady. The enigmatic designer is no stranger to scandal, nor does he appear to care what others think of him and his opinions. He is often reported vocalizing his dislike of other celebrities. Pippa Middleton, sister of the Duchess of Cambridge Kate Middleton, was on the receiving end of Karl's tongue following the royal wedding in 2012. The designer praised Kate for her beauty, but went on to say, I didn't like the sister's face, she should only show her back, about poor bridesmaid Pippa. Earlier that same year, Carl attacked songstress Adele for her weight publicly, saying she's a little too fat. The singer responded saying she was proud of her body, putting Carl in his place. You may also remember the Meryl Streep vs. Carl Lagerfeld disputes prior to the 2017 Oscars, when Carl slammed the Oscar winner for being cheap and not wanting to pay for her dress. Meryl never responded herself, but her press representative pointed out that the dresses are gifted as a part of free celebrity endorsement. Awkward. Carl's opinions often get him in trouble, and the public run to the defense of his targeted celebrity each time, yet it doesn't seem to affect his brands or his works for popularity. Number 3. Choupette, Carl's beloved cat, has nearly 100,000 Instagram followers. Instagram is awash with animal photos and pet accounts, but it's Carl's kitty who is really the cream of the crop. Now we all love our furry friends, but none quite as much as Lagerfeld, who treats his gorgeous pussycat Choupette like royalty. She even has her own handmaidens that tend to her every need. That's luxury living. Choupette can often be seen eating the finest foods, wearing exquisite diamond collars, attending Chanel shows, and snuggling up to Carl. They say cats have nine lives, while well, Choupette definitely struck gold with this high life. Carl even reportedly said he would marry Choupette if it were legal. Number 4. Vogue made a documentary about Carl's life and achievements. The fashion bible and style haven took the time in 2007 to make a feature-length documentary about Carl and his wonderful life. It was an up-close and personal portrait of the fashion icon, and gave us an insight into his inner workings. The film even starred the man himself as well as Princess Caroline of Monaco, daughter of the style queen Grace Kelly. It must have been quite the honor for Carl to be celebrated by such an established and respected publication. Number 5. Carl Lagerfeld is worth a jaw-dropping $125 million. Carl has an estimated net worth of $125 million, and with that money, you could buy over 30,000 Chanel boy bags. This net worth makes Carl the highest paid creative director in the world. This is a truly remarkable bank balance, but of course, Carl has worked mighty hard for it. At 83 years old, he continues to design, direct, and photograph some of the most iconic work in the fashion world, and he shows no sign of slowing down. 
Lagerfeld famously quipped, why should I stop working? If I do, I'll die and I'll be finished. So no doubt that net worth is just going to rise and rise. The fashion designer also owns several restaurants, including the Fat Lagerfeld Burger chain in Berlin, the cheerleading team, the Hamburg Angels, and he has just launched his own brand of vodka, Pure Wonder Lagerfeld Germany. Plus, in 2006, Lagerfeld and investments enterprise Dubai Infinity Holdings, or DIH, signed a deal for an undisclosed amount to design limited edition homes on the island of Ilamoda. There seems to be no end to his talents or bank balance. Number 6. Carl is somewhat of a technophobe. The monochromatic style king may have every possible technology at his disposal, but he prefers nothing less than using good old-fashioned paper and pens. Carl told British Vogue in 2015 that sketching is the only way he designs, and sadly it has become a dying art due to the rise of tablets, iPads, and software programmers. In fact, Carl has sketched so many pictures during his career, they have all been archived and turned into numerous books and videos. However, that's not to say Carl isn't adept at technology, not at all. Lagerfeld is in fact the voice of the fictional radio station K109, his birthday, for the hit video game Grand Theft Auto 4. And it doesn't get much cooler than that. Number 7. Stife Bears immortalized Carl's likeness with a special edition bear. In September 2008, Carl teamed up with renowned teddy bear company Stife to create his very own Carl Bear. The bear was a very cool looking polar bear wearing Carl's famous black suit with oversized collar. Only 2,500 bears were made and they sold for $1,500. Now that is one fancy teddy bear. However, Carl was not just content with having his own bear. He returned to Stife to create a Choupette cuddle toy, complete with her dazzling blue eyes. And you know what that means? You too can create your very own Choupette. Number 8. Carl has a collection of famous muses. When designing for the likes of Chanel, Fendi, and Carl itself, you no doubt need endless sources of inspiration, which is why Carl has such an abundance of muses that guide his work. His little black book of names is bursting with the who's who of the glitterati. From Kristen Stewart to Freja Beha Eriksson, or from Vanessa Paradis to Cara Delevingne, no one is ever quite sure who will catch his eye next, but you can be sure they'll be walking in the Chanel shows and on the arm of the man himself on the red carpet. He idolizes these models and actresses and ensures they embody the essence of Chanel at the time. Number 9. Carl has his own diet book. Not that you would believe it by looking at him, but Karl Lagerfeld lost an incredible amount of weight after he decided he longed to become a clothes horse for high fashion male brands. Lagerfeld lost an astonishing 92 pounds in just 13 months following a very strict diet plan created by nutritionist Dr. Jean-Claude Houdre. A weight loss as high as that is an incredible achievement, more so by the fact that Karl has clearly kept the weight off ever since. Number 10. It's not just Chanel Karl designs for. Of course, Carl is synonymous with Chanel, but it's not just the French powerhouse he's in charge of. Lagerfeld splits his time between Chanel and the Italian mega brand Fendi. The designer balances two very different motifs and brand histories, and season after season, he turns out new and interesting looks. And if that wasn't enough for you, Carl was also the creative director for the luxury brand Chloe back in the 1970s, attracting such famous women as Jackie Kennedy, Grace Kelly, and Bridget Bardot. They don't come classier than that. Chanel, under the watch of Carl, made a ridiculous $5.2 billion in revenue in 2016, and Fendi made an impressive $800 million. To learn more about Fendi, click the link in the video above. Number 11. Carl's Famous Look Following on from his weight loss, Carl was able to develop and find his style identity. The very fact that his silhouette is the logo of his own brand, Karl Lagerfeld speaks volumes of just how recognizable his look is. The creative director is always seen sporting a black leather jacket or a tailored tuxedo jacket, oversized crisp white shirts, fingerless leather gloves, the fashionista staple, oversized sunglasses, and of course, his white ponytail. It's a look that's been imitated by many around the world. He's even been drawn as one of the Simpsons. Number 12. Lagerfeld only ever flies on his private plane. It seems that having such a recognizable look has meant that going out in public really isn't an option for Carl. So much so, he only ever travels on his private jet. Lagerfeld once said during an interview with CNN that I am commercial, but I do not fly commercial. So instead of struggling with adoring fans and the tiresome struggle of airports, Carl simply hops on and off his private plane whenever he needs to go somewhere. That definitely sounds like a luxury we could get on board with. Number 13. Karl Lagerfeld vs. PETA following a controversial use of real fur Back in 2001, Lagerfeld and animal rights group PETA came head-to-head -head in an argument about using real fur in his clothing lines. A tofu pie was hurled at Karl at Lincoln Center but missed and in fact hit Calvin Klein. Oops. 
Carl went on to repeatedly support his use of fur in fashion, despite being branded as a fashion dinosaur by the activists. However, in 2010, Carl changed this when he sent fake fur down the runway for Chanel. PETA saw this as a triumph for fake fur and hoped many would follow suit. Number 14. The interlocking CC Chanel logo was created by Carl himself. Chanel and the CC logo are like champagne and strawberries. You just can't imagine one without the other. Well, you have Carl to thank for this. It was he who brought the emblem of Chanel into the forefront of the brand, using it on everything from brooches to handbags. After the McDonald's Golden Arches, it may well be one of the most recognizable logos ever. Carl's mix of Chanel's heritage and forward-thinking ideas is the reason the brand remains one of the most luxurious and sought-after brands on the planet today. The CC logo is now trademarked under the fashion house, and they have no issue suing those who plagiarize this now famous emblem. Number 15. Lagerfeld has famously designed costumes for Kylie Minogue and Madonna. It takes a legend to dress a legend, which is why the collaboration between Kylie and Lagerfeld works so well. The designer created some of the pop star's stunning costumes for her showgirl tour back in 2005. And if he couldn't get any cooler, Carl also worked alongside Madonna designing her wardrobe for her 2004 reinvention tour. Can you imagine having bespoke pieces designed and made for you by Carl? It is surely the stuff dreams are made of, and Madonna and Kylie both got to live that dream. Are you jealous? Because we kind of are. Do you think Coco Chanel herself would be proud of the work Carl has done for her brand? Answer us in the comments below. And here's a bonus fact for you. The ever-controversial Lagerfeld once hired strippers and adult film stars to model his black and white collection for Fendi back in 1983. Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Wintour was reportedly so shocked at his choice for models, she walked out of the show right in the middle of it. Talk about causing a scene, but that's why we love Carl so much. He's always keeping you guessing. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.